Hi everyone, I've been getting some questions about your visual 3D model and thought I'd go ahead and show you guys some of the issues that you might be encountering and some of the things that you might be able to do to fix them. Uh, the main thing that I've been getting questions on is in regards to your markers. And as we discussed when we were talking about QTM, one of the main things that you want to pay attention to when you are processing and when you're going through your QTM files on Qualysys is you want to make sure that your clusters match up from your static and your dynamic. Um, so as you guys recall from our QTM lecture, one of the things uh, that will be the difference between your static and your dynamic labels is that you're going to have those single markers that are going to be added when you have the static. So you're going to have the iliac, the troch, the epicondyles, malleoli, first and fifth metatarsals. But everything else, it's going to be the same naming for your clusters as your dynamic labels. Um, so that's the first thing that you should check. Make sure that your label list that you have for your static markers when you're looking at the cluster, make sure that it matches your dynamics. So for example, my right side, as you can see on here, I have right that anterior proximal, AD, PP, and PD, and then it matches with my right side on my dynamic trial as well. Uh, so you want to make sure that all of your clusters are matching up. One of the issues with the foot, I know that some of you guys use slightly different naming for some of the trials, so make sure that you stay consistent from your static because your static is the one that's helping you create your model template on Visual 3D. So make sure that you use that naming for your other trials. So for example, for mine, I did use right foot proximal, distal, lat, and lat two. Um, and as you can see, I used the same thing for my dynamic ones as well. So it's staying pretty consistent for all of the clusters. You will notice that when you click on your segment, um, so for example, if I'm looking at my right thigh, when you right click on that one, you're going to create this whole process and you're going to be able to see the cluster set that you marked off. So we have right thigh AD, AP, PD, and PP. So this is what the software is going to look for when you are applying the template to your motion files. So as you can tell, we did need those single markers to help define the segment. So this is why we needed those single ones. We needed that right trope, which we have on here. We are creating the right hip joint center through the landmarks, which is listed on the PDF. And then we're also going to look at our distal as well by using our epicondyles again. These are the single ones that are helping us define the segment. So those single markers are helping us define the segment. The cluster is the one that's helping us track the motion of that segment. So because of that, we need to make sure that the naming on the cluster set matches for all of your trials. So the first thing that you will have to do is you're going to have to go to your Qualysis data and you're going to go through your trials and make sure that the naming, as you can see on here, it's staying pretty consistent. So make sure that the naming on your left and your right side is consistent. Make sure that it's the same for your static and all of your dynamic trials. Um, that's the, the first thing you need to do is go through that qualysis, make sure everything's matching. As soon as it matches, if you need to correct anything or if your label list, it's not matching, then you need to go through that process of creating your labeled list that you have on here and then reload it on QTM and then relabel those. Um, one thing you can do if it's only one cluster, you can just go ahead and delete those four and then just load up those particular four cluster sets. Um, so that's one way you can do it or you can just redo the whole thing, whatever's easiest for you. Just make sure that everything is matching. As soon as you are done, you're gonna do the same process of going through exporting to C3D and then you'll have your file ready to go. Once it's ready, then you can upload it on Visual 3D. And when you go to your workspace, then you'll notice that when you have your motion going, then you'll be able to apply your model template to your Visual 3D file.
for example, the one that we have on here. So then you're able to apply all of that on there so you're able to see what's going on with the motion itself. Um, again, so you have to make sure you go through each one and everything is matching if that is the issue that you're having. Also, when you're looking at the hip center, because I know that was another error that some of you are having, when you go to your landmarks, what will happen is, for example, if I'm looking at my left one, once you apply it and create it, Sometimes the system will not exit you out of the landmarks portion, but it will create it. So if you just exit out of this one, you'll notice that it's already created there. Um, so if you keep clicking on apply, it keeps recreating the same one. Um, so make sure that you first go back and check to make sure that it's created. If it is, then you can go back to your segments and then continue with creating that right thigh. Um, if you have guys, if you guys have any other questions, please uh, let me know, and I will go ahead and upload any other videos to see if that helps. Um, but again, make sure you go through all those clusters and make sure that they're all matching, and that should hopefully help clear some of the confusion that some of you guys are having.